is cash inside your super fund protected by the government guarantee? Australia's Financial Claim Scheme, or FCS, covers amounts up to 250,000 held in authorised deposit taking institutions, or ADIs. It's important to note what an ADI is. For example, Westpac also has St George, Bank of Melbourne, and Bank South Australia operating under its license. If someone has a million dollars split evenly between those four banks, only 250,000 would be covered because it's considered one ADI. So, is cash within super covered by the government guarantee? Firstly, some cash options at super funds aren't actual cash, but short-term money market securities and short-term bonds, not cash deposits, so these aren't covered at all. In the case of actual cash deposits with an ADI, Australian Prudential Regulation Authority, or APRA, explain, an amount in a deposit account with a bank, building society or credit union held by a trustee on behalf of a super fund is covered under the FCS up to $250,000. However, in most cases, the $250,000 FCS limit would be applied to the whole fund, not each individual member. As a result, it's likely that only a small portion of a member's cash will be covered by the FCS. Essentially, a super fund is a trustee, which means it's akin to being one entity holding assets on behalf of many people. As it's a single entity, it only has $250,000 coverage with any ADI, meaning there could be millions of dollars in cash deposited at an ADI on behalf of the super fund, but only $250,000 at that ADI. This is the same for every super fund. That's from an SMSF with one member to a large industry fund with millions of members. There is some irony here. Some superannuation investors will quickly switch to cash if they feel there's a financial panic coming, but aren't fully versed on whether their cash is protected or not. Regardless, it's not something everyone should worry about, it's just an interesting fact that many people aren't aware of.